13 pregnancy vlog. So yes, week 13. Um, I'm kind of at the point now where I'm like, wait, am I 13 weeks? Am I 14 weeks? Am I 12 weeks? I'm just getting really lost and confused. Like what week am I? I don't really remember. So the big thing this week is we made our big social media announcement. Woo! So we announced on Facebook and Instagram and Snapchat and just let everyone know, you know, that we're pregnant and we're expecting a little one in April. And all of the um, responses that we have received since we've announced have been very positive. People are very excited for us um, and they all want to wish us well. So we're very happy with that. It took us a while to post and announce to everyone on social media. I know a lot of people usually do it before 13 weeks, but that was Felix sneezing. With us, I was waiting to tell my coworkers first, um, cause I'm friends with a couple of them on, on Facebook, and Anthony wanted to tell a couple of his coworkers as well. So that's why it took us so long, but it's out there and everybody knows. Um, and so we're all just really excited. So that was really fun to share the news and let everyone know. A lot of people were very um, surprised uh, which is funny because we've been married a year, so you'd think it'd be coming sometime around now. For symptoms this week, um, my nausea is definitely going down. Praise the Lord. Like, I am so excited. So, yes, my nausea is slowly subsiding. Um, the past couple days, I actually really haven't had nausea at all. If I do get it, it's usually because I'm not eating, or I might get it here or there, like, sporadically in the evening or right before I go to bed but um, usually I don't have it at all anymore now so it's just it's just so nice to not have nausea although I feel like my body is still adjusting to not having nausea because um, I still am like I don't know if I want to be able to eat everything like what if it comes back or I don't know if my stomach has really recovered from it you know when you have like a stomach flu and then like after you get over that you Still for like a week or so you're still kind of like getting off of that sickness and you're still really not eating that well that's kind of where I'm, where I'm at right now so yay for the less nausea but I'm still not back to normal on my eating um, the nausea was really causing me to lose weight a lot because I just didn't want to eat um, so I have started gaining my weight back a little bit I'm two pounds up from my uh, starting pregnancy weight, so that's good. I'm gaining weight. That's good news. Uh, week 13 is the last uh, week in the first trimester. I know uh, different websites say different things. Some people say, oh no, 13 weeks, you're in the second trimester. But I have two apps on my phone and they both say that 14 weeks starts the second trimester, so I just will go with that. So we're at the end of the first trimester. It went by super fast. Um, people usually say the first trimester is the worst and that the second is usually the best trimester, so I'm excited to bring it on. For other symptoms, um, I have been dealing with a lot of more heartburn lately. Um, usually I'll just get it at night, like right before I go to bed, and it's just like this burning sensation. So I've been taking Tums and those help like right away. So I would rather take heartburn every day than nausea. Like I can totally deal with that. I have been getting a lot of headaches lately. Um, I'm not sure if that's because of the pregnancy or what, but I have been getting them. And when I do get them, they're like really super strong headaches. So I have been taking um, Tylenol because um, I think that's the only medicine that you can take that's safe. So I have been taking that, but I take it very sparingly um, just because I don't want to affect the baby too much. My acne is still probably about the same. Um, I'm still having a little bit of constipation issues. Um, but overall, nothing too bad. Um, they say that the second trimester, your symptoms should all but go away. Go away. Um, I, it's funny, like some nights I'll be super tired and I'll go to bed at 10. Other nights, like last night, I'll stay up until 11.30 and I'll be totally fine and won't be tired at all. So, um, it's really kind of, that's Felix. <laughs> so it's really kind of weird how some nights I'm really tired, some nights I'm not. Are you saying hi? So some nights I'll feel really tired, some nights I'll be um, not tired at all. So that's kind of weird. They do say in the second trimester that like you should be feeling less tired, like you should be feeling more energetic. So I'm waiting for that. <laughs> um, they say that this week baby is um, the length of a pea pod or the size of a peach. So getting bigger, um, that's still really exciting. Um, they say that now baby uh, has fingerprints. 
Um, the eyes have formed, although the eyes, like, it's not opening its eyes or anything like that. Um, we still don't know if baby is a boy or a girl. We're still waiting on that. Um, one thing that I haven't really been talking about, um, but I thought I would touch a little bit on uh, here, is, um, you know, usually when you go to your first appointment, they take a lot of blood samples from you just to see if you have, you know, different things that your baby might be prone to genetically. And I did get a call from my doctor saying that I tested positive as a carrier for cystic fibrosis, um, which was a total shock and surprise to me because no one in my family has cystic fibrosis, nobody in my extended family has cystic fibrosis, so I was like, what, where did this come from? I just have a recessive gene, obviously, um, but it can be a little sticky if you are with someone who is also uh, a positive carrier for cystic fibrosis. If you're with someone who is positive, and you're positive, then you have like a one in four chance of having a baby with cystic fibrosis. So that was a little scary, which is why I really didn't want to touch upon it that much. Um, obviously, they tested my blood first, and then um, the last time we went to our doctor's appointment, Anthony went too, and he got his blood drawn um, so they could see uh, if he was positive or not. And so that was a little stressful, but they did just call me, and they told me that Anthony tested negative. So he is not a carrier for cystic fibrosis, which means that there is no chance at all that our babies can have it. Um, the only thing they might get is the recessive gene along that I have. I have a um, only a 50% chance of passing that on to um, my kids. So it was a little bit of a scare um, just because I guess um, I was researching it and uh, one in every 25 Caucasians have the recessive gene. So it is more common than you think. Um, and cystic fibrosis is very serious. Um, you know, if, if your child gets it, they'll have problems the rest of their life, and it also has a short lifespan. So, we don't have to worry about that anymore. It was good news to hear. Um, I think the next doctor's appointment, we'll get more testing for, like, Down syndrome and things like that. So, the testing isn't over, but at least we've jumped one hurdle. This week, I've been kind of planning, like, more of the gender reveal. My mom has been creating little invitations to gender reveal we're going to do. We're going to have it, like, the day after Thanksgiving because a lot of family will be in town. Um, so, it's really cute to find out the gender. Um, I'm going to schedule, like, one of those 3D, 4D ultrasounds. Um, they have them everywhere here in Columbus, and they're really not that expensive. So I'm going to schedule that. I think my family's going to come and see it. And so it'll be really fun to see Baby Denzel, especially since the last time I saw it, it was a blob. <laughs> but let me show you my week 13 belly shot. Um, I feel like a lot of this is just the same thing over and over again. Let me move this to the edge here. So here is from the side, from the front, and then from this side. So as you can see, Pretty good bump right there. I'm definitely getting wider. Um, definitely like when I put on uh, like my t-shirts at night and they're just smalls, um, they definitely get tight and you can definitely see a bump. So it's very exciting. I'm not like pushing it out or anything. I'm just standing here. I have seen pictures of people um, who have different body shapes or maybe it's their second or third pregnancy and they're already looking way more pregnant than I am. Um, and then I also see people who look way less pregnant than I am. So I'm somewhere in the middle and it's cool just to have, be a part of these chat groups and just see where everybody is and all the different body types and things like that. I think that's it. I think that does it for my week 13 um, bump video update, whatever you want to call it. Um, stay tuned for next week for more updates. Bye guys.